Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Arabic Khatawat. In this video, we're going to continue our series of short Arabic stories. This is our fourth story. If you have missed the first three ones, you can find them in the description box. What we do with those stories is we go over worksheets, we explain uh, paragraph by paragraph, then we read the story again. We use different um, techniques or learning techniques, and we of course, request that everyone grabs a pen and paper because I'll be annotating or writing on the worksheets and some notes. Um, it would be better if you also take them along the way. So we'll begin على بركة الله. The story is كن واثقا. And here I'll go over just a few things um, before I get started. And when we look at the story, we're going to read. We have all the vocab kind of distributed um, using color coding, also using some other techniques. Um, we have verbs. You see how many verbs? All the bright colors are verbs. And then, of course, we have idafa and some, some other grammar lessons. We'll go over the story um, by looking at the pure English meanings. So when you translate a story to English or from English to Arabic, from Arabic to English, um, word by word might convey kind of different contexts. Um, and then you might get confused, like how do I put all these four words together in order for me to comprehend the true meaning of the, uh, the text? Uh, we'll go over that switching from Arabic to English and what can we keep, what can we drop? And of course, you have some other techniques we're going to look at, inshallah, together. So we'll start. Grab your pen and paper. And ta'ala barakatillah. I'll start reading. And bismillah. Kun wathiqan. Kun wathiqan min hulumika. Kun wathiqan min hulumika. Be confident, and this is like more of a command, like kun for male. Be confident, wathiq, wathiq, and this is confident. Min, hulumika, dream, your dream. And when you think of wathiq, it might remind you of this noun, which is thiqa, thiqa, trust. And if you're thinking of a verb, it will be wathaqa, or wathaqa, it's actually thiqa wathaqa. And we say, ana athiqu, ana athiqu, and this is a tha. Ana athiqu, athiqu bihi, athiqu bihi, wa ana wathaq minh. When you use wathaq, you think of min, but when you use verb wathaqa, you think of ana athiqu bihi, you have to use this preposition. Trust your dream. This is a beautiful story, really beautiful, and I believe um, it's a true story. Um, that's what the resources mentioned. And trust your dream. First paragraph. Kana Monty Robert ibn Mudarib Khuyul. Kana Monty Robert ibn Mudarib Khuyul yaqdi. أيامه متنقلا متنقلا من إسطبل إلى إسطبل ومن مزرعة إلى أخرى يدرب الخيول ويروضها وكانت مسيرته الدراسية منقطعة نتيجة منقطعة نتيجة تنقله الدائم مع أبيه. Oh, this story has a lot of vocab. So, مدرب خيول خيول are horses. When you think of مدرب, it's trainer. And look, you have the verb over here, which is darraba, darraba, to train. Al-khuyul, 
فيقضي spend and this is always related to time because here we have days يقضي أيامه متنقلا remember this one متنقل متنقل someone who moves a lot from one place to another and when you say متنقلا It, you are describing his state of being, which is like more of a continuous um, act or action. متنقلن. This is اسم فاعل. من استبلن. Stable. إلى استبل. From one stable to another. And ومن مزرعة. 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 Farm. إلى أخرى. From one farm to another. And you see how farm is feminine, then أخرى, other, is also feminine. So it has to agree with the place it describes. يدرب trains الخيول ويروض درب rhymes with روضة to tame. And here يروضها, you have the ها, it refers to الخيول, horses. You see over here, that's a ها. ويدرب الخيول also referring to الخيول وكانت مسيرته and his path or his journey مسيرة is more of a journey وكانت مسيرته الدراسية his academic journey منقطعة interrupted منقطعة نتيجة نتيجة is a result this is a very common word Arabic word نتيجة تنقله تنقله Do you see how you have متنقل Someone who keeps moving from one place to another And تنقل is movement Which is تنقل is a noun تنقل يتنقل هو متنقل الدائم continuous Like it's constant it, It's long last And it's دائم It comes from دائما And here is a description. Um, مع أبيه, with his father. Now the second one. وفي أحد الأيام بينما كان في المرحلة الثانوية And one day وفي أحد الأيام بينما Remember بينما كان في المرحلة الثانوية طلب منه في المدرسة كتابة موضوع موضوع يعبر فيه عما يرغب أن يكون عندما يكبر. And one day, all of this says one day, وفي أحد الأيام بينما كان while he was or when he was and here you have بين plus ما This, these are the two words you might think of, but together, بينما, while. And it's referring to time. كان في المرحلة الثانوية. In مرحلة is like stage. Um, الثانوية, high school. طلب منه. طلب, um, requested. Someone asked him something. So طلب منه. It always goes with طلب مني. He asked me. طلب مني أنا طلب someone asked you don't know who طلب منه في المدرسة كتابة موضوع موضوع topic فيه uh, يعبر mm, this is a really good verb عبر and think about عبر as to express عبر some students we had this word this week عبر is through something and عبر to cross but the one we have here is عبر to express because it has شدة عبر through has a سكون and if you're saying عبر as cross that one must have a فتحة so think of these three and remember that the one you're using refers to expressing your thoughts or emotions يعبر فيه عما يرغب what he desires أن رغب يرغب وهي رغب a desire أن يكون عندما يكبر when he grows up what he would like to be when he grows up what he desires or also like his aspirations his desires his aspirations ممتاز 
So now we go to the third paragraph. We'll go over the reading one more time. We have the plain, the text like in a plain format without all of these notes. So you can uh, review and um, rewrite and of course practice listening, which is the most important part. Here's this third part. لم يتردد past. لم يتردد. He did not hesitate. So Robert didn't hesitate. لم يتردد. كان يعرف تماما. كان يعرف تماما. He knew exactly. So this is to know. كان يعرف تماما ما يريد. What he wants. وهكذا. And that's how. Um, كتب سبع صفحات. And we're doing numbers here. سبع. سبع. سبع as um, masculine. And then صفحات pages, which is feminine. We did numbers. You can also check numbers in خطوات videos. So هكذا وهكذا كتب سبع صفحات عن هدفه. We learned هدف. 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 Do you remember this in previous stories? هدف. هدف. هدف is target or objective. عن هدفه بأن يكون مالك the owner مالك مزرعة خيول أن يكون مالك مزرعة خيول to be the owner مالك مزرعة خيول we learned مزرعة is a farm and خيول horses so horse farm or horse ranch كتب موضوعا مفصلا He's our new word. Mufassal is detailed. Mufassal. Mufassal. Detailed topic. Waddaha. And some of you might know this one. Waddaha is to clarify. And wadah is clear. Waddaha fihi in it. It must go with in it. Waddaha fihi. Mawqi'a al-mazra'a. Location. Mawqi'a al-mazra'a. وَإِسْطَبْلَاتِهَا We learned istabl. This is the plural form of stables. وَرَسَمَ And he drew to draw. رَسَمَ أَيْضًا مُخَطَّطًا مُخَطَّطًا uh, A plan, blueprint, um, a drawing. So مُخَطَّط مُخَطَّط is a plan. And it comes from خَطَّطَ خَطَّطَ To plan. And if you are thinking about khat, which is handwriting, that's handwriting. Anything that requires you holding a pen and drawing lines, that means you are planning something. So you plan the script, that's a khat, that's a handwriting, um, or penmanship. Mukhattat is a plan or blueprint. وَأَيْضًا مُخَطَّطًا لَهَا So he drew um, a plan or a detailed plan of the farm. Now we are going to our fourth paragraph. Our fourth paragraph also has a lot of words, but the fun part about this is that many of the words that are um, in this paragraph have already been mentioned before. So we really don't have to go over them again. So like al mawdu' topic, we got it. Robert, we know who that is. Natija, natija, result, we talked about it. Um, alama, mm -mm, we have natija again. And then we have some other words that are repeated here. Wabada um, taslim, after submitting or handing in. Salama. And I mentioned this in class for my students. When we think of salama, we think of to greet someone. Salama ala, and we have to use ala. But if we say to hand to someone, salama lahu, we have to use la. This is to hand to someone. Mm -hmm. So you need to use this preposition. Just remember these two words as verbs, la and ala. But the verb is the exact same one. So, um, taslim, taslim, same. Taslim is uh, for hand in, but the noun for um, salama, huwa salam, peace. 
So that's a different now. وبعد تسليم الموضوع بيومين like in two days after submitting يومين and here is a dual حصل حصل روبرت على نتيجته روبرت obtained his result وقد كانت علامة grade علامة راسب failed and the verb is رسب to fail فهو راسب and it rhymes with Malik owner and واثق confident. Remember those descriptions. مستغربا كان مستغربا he was surprised. I'll clear this since we mentioned it and save some room. And I hope you're writing along the way as well. كان مستغربا he was surprised من هذه النتيجة من this result مستغربا it bewildered like it's a strange um he was kind of surprised but this mustaghrib comes from gharib strange when you see something gharib and you're bewildered because it's strange you say mustaghrib hmm min hadhihi natija fasala he asked robert we're talking still about robert muallimahu معلّي ما هو عن السبب what is the reason السبب السبب reason and also like um, a cause so we say بسببك because of you and we say بسبب but if you were using السبب is the reason but if we're saying بسببه بسبب is because عن السبب في رسوبه Oh, here is another fun word. So we said rasaba to fail. Rusub is failure as a noun. So look at it. You have rasib, you have rusub, you have rasaba. Well, can the answer was your dream, like this dream of yours, and the word you need to look at here is a description, negated description, saying غير instead of ليس, you say غير, not. واقعي, realistic, and واقع is reality. This is reality. When you say realistic, you say واقعي. And um, just, I'm sure some of our current students are looking at this right now. We learn the adverbs since we say واقعي um, as a description and we say بواقعية speak realistically like بواقعية ولا يتناسب and it does not suit ولا يتناسب does not fit does not suit um, a boy like you لا يتناسب مع ولد مثلك فأنت لا تملك المال. You do not own. And remember Malik. I said remember Malik as owner. لا تملك. You don't own. المال. The money. ولا الموارد. The resources. فضلا عن كونك. Also. All of this plus. Um, فضلا عن كونك. You being. من عائلة متجولة. We know Aila's family, but mutajawila describing family. A family that moves a lot, roams a lot, like roaming, um, traveling. So mutajawila is traveling. Ghayra mustaqirra is not stable. And here's another opportunity to look at ghayr. We got ghayr here and we got ghayr here, which is not stable. And it's like you're saying unstable. وَمِنَ الْمُسْتَحِيلِ It's impossible. Two. مِنَ الْمُسْتَحِيلِ أَن تُحَقِّقَ To achieve هذا الهدف. This objective. And it's impossible to achieve this objective. وَمِنَ الْمُسْتَحِيلِ أَن تُحَقِّقَ هذا الهدف. بعد ذلك, after that, منح. 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 Is to grant someone 
something to give him something um so minha is a grant if you're thinking of minha manaha al-mu'allimu robert uh, fursa thaniya a second chance or another chance so a second is thaniya referring to the number the second chance or a second chance fursa I said change, it's chance. Mm -hmm. Fursatan thania. Li eadat kitabat mouduae. Li eadat kitabat mouduae. To repeat. Iada, repeat. You remember sometimes I would say aid, aid, aid as a command, repeat, repeat. And this is iada is the noun of this verb I've been using. Kitabat mouduae. Kitabat mouduae. Writing his topic. على أن يكون في هذه المرة this time أكثر واقعية more realistic بواقعية I mentioned بواقعية but أكثر واقعية more realistic we're almost done I'll save the punchline until we're done with our um, fifth this is only six paragraphs that's not bad and we did pretty well um, with time عاد الولد إلى منزله the boy returned to his house عاد الولد إلى منزله منزل or بيت same وأخبر أخبر he informed and if you think of خبر خبر is news and أخبار news the plural of خبر أخبر to inform um أخبر أباه his dad بما حدث أخبر به so we always have to say inform به بما حدث طالبا requesting منه النصح والإرشاد النصح advice or advising الإرشاد guidance and we say نصح وأرشد نصح وأرشد because it's إرشاد أرشد and you see it over here فقال أب The father said قال الأب هذا القرار This decision هذا القرار مهم للغاية Extremely important Very important مهم So we have القرار Decision This decision is extremely important وعليك أن you have عليك is it's upon you. It's your responsibility. الوصول arriving to الإجابة بمفردك. وعليك الوصول إلى الإجابة بمفردك. And you must or you have to arrive to the answer on your own. I'm just giving you word by word translation. بمفردك is on your own. Uh, your own. Like by yourself. You can also think of liwahdik, alone, liwahdika. That's possible to use here. This is my favorite line. مرت عدة أيام. This is our sixth paragraph. مرت عدة أيام. A few days passed. مرت, and this is مرة يمر, مرة passed by. We talked about it in previous stories. مرة passed by. عدة أيام. Many days. عاد بعدها Robert. Robert returned to his teacher. إلى معلمه يحمل كاريان يحمل 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 to carry نفسه same موضوع التعبير the same essay. If you're saying موضوع التعبير is essay. السابق, the, the last one or the former. You can use former as uh, المدير السابق, the former boss, المدير السابق. وسلمه, we learned سلم, 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 um, سلمه إياه, gave it to him. And here it's إلى, إلى, and إليهي, we say here إياه, um, أو سلمه له. قائلا, saying, احتفظ, keep. 
احتفظ keep احتفظ ب علامة الرسوب keep the failing grade وأنا سأحتفظ بحلمي and I will hold on to my dream وأنا سأحتفظ this is a really beautiful story I loved it I, I read it multiple times with my son and it's beautiful um, وأنا سأحتفظ بحلمي and I will keep my dream so here you have keep or hold on to hold on to بحلمي ما شاء الله that was quite um, yeah that was quite a story جيد over here what I'm going to do and maybe um, I think we still have time but you have quite a lot of words what you could do is look at مدرب خيول I'll read these and think of the translation um, I'll just clear the board so you can only see the story without the doodles I'll just show you the story in a, a little bit again um, so we can read those expressions and see if we're able to detect meaning one more time. So we went literally like in details, word by word, uh, phrase by phrase, and we were able to understand, hopefully, um, the true meaning of this story. Here it is again. But what I'm going to do is I will just show you this part. The part over here is where I mention only these phrases. I'll try to read them and then try to guess the meaning. مدرب خيول مدرب خيول مالك مزرعة يدرب الخيول ويروضها مسيرته الدراسية مسيرته الدراسية منقطعة مسيرته الدراسية منقطعة تنقله الدائم كتابة موضوع يعبر فيه عما يرغب أن يكون عندما يكبر موضوعا مفصلا موقع المدرسة أو موقع المزرعة أو موقع الشركة السبب في رسوبه السبب في رسوبه حلومك هذا غير واقعي فكرتك هذه غير واقعية so if you're saying a feminine word here these two words needs to change, need to change. Uh, فكرتك هذه غير واقعية. عائلة متجولة غير مستقرة. عائلة متجولة غير مستقرة. من المستحيل أن تحقق هذا الهدف. من المستحيل أن تحقق هذا الهدف. لا تملك المال ولا الموارد لا تملك المال ولا الموارد هذا القرار مهم للغاية هذا القرار مهم للغاية هذا القرار مهم للغاية هذا القرار مهم للغاية منحه فرصة لإعادة كتابة موضوعه منحه فرصة لإعادة كتابة موضوعه أكثر واقعية أكثر واقعية ما شاء الله Here is the entire story in English What I will do I'll try to read it now on a different video so I can just devote this for your vocab You go back to the second part of this with the translation 
where I will read both the English translation of the story. And of course, as I read, you're looking at the Arabic script. And as I read again uh, in Arabic, you will be able to translate. And this is the part we're going to do as our second part. I hope you enjoyed this video. Just um, check in um, again after this is this streaming is done and you will find um, the second part, inshallah, attached to this video. Thank you so much for joining and trust your dream. Kun wathiqan min halumik. Ma'a salama.